What's up, everybody? It's your boy Stevie the Black. It's S T E V W E the Black. I'm back. Last week, last week I was upset. Last week I was angry. Last week I I was ready to cut somebody out. This week, after this game, I have nothing to say. Nothing to say at all. Because that was... That was something. That was something. You know... That was something. I think this is our first back-to-back -back loss since 2016. When we were on that five-game losing streak. I hope you guys really, really, really enjoy that Super Bowl. Please enjoy it because the way we're playing, it's not going to be enough. It's not. Now, do we still have a shot to win the division? I guess. But as I said, it's not going to be easy. Short week this week, Thursday Night Football, we got the Giants in New York. They just lost a close one. You know, they always play as tough, you know, despite the fact that they're 1-4. And, and does it matter? Something is wrong with this team. I don't know what. Maybe winning that Super Bowl, nah, I'm not going to say that because it was totally worth it, but <sighs> you know, my friend Daddy said maybe this loss will wake them up. We shouldn't have to say that. Said that last week when they lost to the Titans. Said that the week before when they almost lost to the Colts. Said that the week after that, when they lost to the Jackson, well not the Jackson, but when they lost to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I posted on Facebook before the game, no more excuses, just get it done. And be quite frankly, I, 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 don't, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, yeah, the defense played okay. They weren't lights out. If we... If we were in the Super Bowl, Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady, Ben Roethlisberger, Philip Rivers, we would, they would get killed. They would kill him. Because this defense is not, I don't know what's wrong. They just can't get to the quarterback. They're just not. The only thing I can really take away is that one bogus call of roughing the passer, that was a sack. Like, I don't know what that was. And they were trying to explain why it was a flag, and I didn't understand it. Maybe someone in the comment section can let me know. But I'm, uh, I'm about this close. This close to screaming and rip my hair out and just this close. We can no longer use the excuse. Oh, you know what? There is a Super Bowl hangover. There's just no doubt about it. All those teams that I showed you that the year after they won the Super Bowl, things just they just didn't look right. I, is it still worth it to go after Le'Veon Bell right now? I guess. Because as I said, I don't think... The Redskins can beat the the. Uh, I don't think the Redskins can beat the Saints. They've been balling, and I don't think. I mean, we'll see about the Cowboys. Maybe they can beat the Texans. I don't know, but uh, we'll see. 
But I hope they do learn that they need to get Salem Malu out of there because right away you tell, oh god, this is a mistake. So put Wiz back up in there. And I don't know what you gotta do to this offensive line. Because as I said, they just they're getting this man Carson Wentz killed. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. So is the season over? I'm about 90% there. Is it still possible to win it NFC East? Absolutely. But we keep getting in our own way. That's the problem. We keep getting in our own way. I look at this division and they're not head and shoulders above everybody else, but they're still the best team, but they keep getting in their own way. I think Carson Wentz has fumbled each week he's been back because he can't get no protection because he can't get time, you know, and and that's another thing. I mean, they could have won this game. Remember that, what was it, 4th and 20, I think it was, 4th and 15? They should have kicked the field goal. That was that was Cowboys 2016 all over again. They, they, they should have kicked the field goal. I understand his mindset, though, because Jake Elliott struggles for whatever reason. He's struggling to kick a field goal that's like 50 yards plus, and I think it was going to be like a 58-yard kick. I understand if he misses, that's great field position for them. But in the end, you still got to do it. You do not have faith in the man when he was way more terrible last year and he kicked a 61-yard field goal. You had faith in him then. Because then, if the game still plays out the way it does, then we might win the game. But now we're sitting here at 2 and three and like I said I just there's no there's no excuse the offensive line the defense no excuse no game I kind of want the season to be over already and just move on to next year and maybe then we can look like a real team again I don't know I don't know kind of rambling on at this point like I said last week I was mad I was upset this week I'm just nothing I ain't got nothing what do you want me to say what do you want me to say Vikings came in here with their revenge and they got it. They got it. We got the Giants on Thursday night, so expect my predictions video. I'm guessing maybe Tuesday, since we're playing on Thursday. It, it might be tomorrow because I have my NFC East report tomorrow as well. So we'll see. Anyway, that's all I got. Peace out.